What's up? Hey, Nux, how you doing, boy? Pretty epic. Very excited. <laughs> because in anime, one of the greatest things that so many anime just do right is fetishizing really weird things that should not be fetishes at all, but somehow are in the context of anime. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. This is... I don't know if you know, but this is this is a, a subject I'm into. <laughs> a subject I am very passionate about. I have dedicated life, research, hours, and yeah, okay. That's why you are the perfect guest for this amazing <laughs> video. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad I could be useful. You're going to be more useful than the episode where you explain to us about shmantai fetishes. But uh, as far as the regular base anime fetishes go, I think we'll, we'll have a lot of fun with them. None of them are as horrible as the ones you have prepared for us in that future episode. Right? <laughs> oh, no. If I could use descriptive words to summarize the, uh, the subjects that I found, I would label it unique and horrific. Well, that is a combination that you will only know if you subscribe right now and leave a like on this video. But anywho, weirdest fetishes in anime, I think the first one that pops into most of our heads is probably Hisoka from Hunter x Hunter. I'm so lucky that I've seen that show. I'm up yeah. to the, where ne Neon gets kidnapped. That's where I'm up to right now. Oh, so you've already seen um, the uh, weird hisokasms when he's fighting Gon and he's just like, mm, Gon! Oh yes, I have so many opinions about him, but I would love to hear yours first. What do you yes. feel about this gay magician clown? So let me tell you a thing or two about gay magician clown over here. The absolute legend is gets a bad rap from the community. And really that's why I went to do this. It's not just because I want to talk about weird anime fetishes or anything, no. This is a brilliantly depicted video where I can clear Hisoka Hisoka's bad name. I think throughout the anime community, people regard him as a pedophile. Oh, how, how could they, how could they? The masterful, brilliant, and selfless individual Hisoka should not be drawn in that light whatsoever because he is not attracted to young boys. Okay, that, I, I'll phrase it differently. He is attracted to young boys, but only if they show off a potential for being powerful. This man is attracted to power, potential, fighting and yes he'll moan and groan when he sees that in front of him but it's not because they're children a am i defending him well is, is that am i doing a good job <laughs> no, you're, you're trying you're trying <laughs> so what i'm saying is he's not a pedo he's attracted to potential you could be right i pretty vocal about it bisexual hello now i've been trying to determine what would Hisoka be? Is he asexual? Is he bisexual? Oh, definitely not asexual. This man I, groans 90% of his dialogue. That doesn't, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. <laughs> no. Gone. I, gone. Pulls out a fishing it. rod. Hisoka. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, he is attracted to power sexually, and sometimes that power is on different things. It could be on a cat, I don't know. But yes, he, he is attracted to the boys' power. It's a weird fetish because he's attracted to power and potential. And Hisoka sure. is the man I would feel safest around, since I have zero fighting prowess. I, he, I would be no threat in his eyes, and he and I would get along swimmingly together. Hey, Mary, your kid, he just won the spelling bee, didn't he? Oh, yes, yes, he did. Got a lot of potential right there. Oh, yeah, he does. <laughs> oh, Stay no, away from no! Another quite uh, fantastic, weird fetish in anime that I had planned is the lovely Kira Yoshikage from JoJo's and his weird fetish for dis embodied hands. First of all, have you se have you seen JoJo's part four? I haven't seen the very, very ending and I'd have to th look into my memory banks. So please remind me. All right, so we got Yoshikage Kira, completely normal ass dude, walking around, doing, you know, normal things, but he has the power to explodify things on the molecular level. So when he sees someone that he is attracted to, he'll explode them except for their hand, which he will keep with him in his pocket at all times. And Dude, uh, I remember, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and he'd be like, oh, take out that hand and just like put it in his sandwich and then lick the sandwich contents off the fingers of the corpse hand until it starts rotting and he needs a new hand. Exactly. That there, one of the weirdest fetishes in anime. Like a good smile, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> like wonderful or or like pretty eyes so what's the difference he likes pretty all of the okay in his defense all of the severed hands that he fell in love with were very attractive i'm willing to uh agree to this point but i'm 
still uh, waiting on the whole, you know, murdering people and cutting off their hands and keeping their disintegrating hand, like, decomposing because it's it's dead and wow. keeping it in his pocket. Wow. Uh, are you ragging on him for having a hobby? Hobbies are no, important. I, <laughs> I mean, he has healthy hobbies, keeping all of his old fingernails in jars. See, that? that's a very healthy and constructive hobby. It's just the whole murdering people thing for their hands that I, I don't know if that maybe potentially crosses some arbitrary line that I'm putting here. Uh, dude, that's where I disagree. You had reminded me of a porn that I had watched last night that was very relevant to this conversation. I have to post it immediately. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Thanks for reminding me of porn. Oh, my pleasure. Tweet. <laughs> Tell me how this makes oh, no. you feel. High school stuck in locker. <laughs> I love it! I'm setting it to the end. That there, masterpiece! That, I feel like that was a JoJo reference. That was gonna... a JoJo reference, and it was a <laughs> damn good one. See, that that there, that's one of weirdest fetishes of Nuxtaku right there. Really? I, mean, I have to say, JoJo references, they, they make me go swing. if you know what I mean. <laughs> Anywho, so now that we've tackled JoJo's uh, lovely... Um, Yoshikage Kira, absolute legend. As we know, there is another anime with a very popular character named Kira, named Death Note. And the character in Death Note I wanted to bring up to you was Mikami, and the fact that he would literally get turned on by murdering people. Like, he would take his Death Note, and he would write someone's name, and every time he'd finish, he'd go, DELETE! Oh! And then have this really weird, uh, body-shaking convulsion sex scene. I, I remember it was delete, delete, delete. I remember, I remember. I, I, I honestly have to say, I love that you have, you remember hentai in better detail than like Death Note. It's like, oh, Nux, you didn't notice that weird panel in at page 12 of, uh, you know, some weird shmentai with like a name that takes up six pages? You didn't remember that? I mean, th think about it. Think about it. If someone, if I meet people and someone's name is Jeff or John, I'm going to, it's, it's going to be hard to remember. It'd be like, oh, what was his name? It was a J word. I don't know. But if your name was like Kaname or, uh. Konsunuma, it's because it's like, you don't hear that name every day, so it sticks in your head. It was, it was unique. It stood out. Unlike Death Note, which is not unique. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, it's a very interesting show. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good show. And I do like that Mikami literally gets turned on by killing people. Like, it's an actual fetish for the guy. You like it because you can identify with it? I did it. I, I'm not saying I don't identify. No, no. Murdering people. So it's, it's a little past me as of right now. I, I'm not a murder advocate. Uh, I'm kind of against it. Murder, child slavery, and I would say cannibalism are three things that I I don't think I will ever be uh, an advocate for. <laughs> oh, you're not just... into cannibalism? Yeah, well, rip, scratch that off your list. I will delete that tab. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> oh, no! I have a lot more weird fetishes in anime. For, Are you to... sure? Oh, Cause, oh yeah. Because oh. I honestly, honestly thinking about it, like not severed hands and all of that. But when it comes to the delete, 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 think about, or is it cathartic? How good it would feel. Just the the relief, the, the, the weight taken off you of killing all of these people just by writing down their name. He had so much sadness inside and then suddenly he could kill anyone. Think about how good his day was. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I've never, I never viewed Mikami in this light before. It's therapy. You've given me so many things to think about. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You think on that. You think on that, young man. But as far as weird fetishes in anime go, bruh, bruh. the animal ear fetish. Before I even mention specifics I have in mind, feel free to take it away. I just want to point out before we even get into it, if you look at my head, I have ribbon and it is permanently shaped in cat ears because I just love saying, that Just saying, just saying, I did notice. <laughs> I did notice that. And still you consider weird the fetish of my people. And my people are weebs that like animal ears. Dude, it's the best. Just want to pull that fluffy tail, man. And just... Well, what if I told you that when I am referring to animal ears being a weird fetish, I'm not referring to the weird, oh. you know, otaku dude side who somehow gets trapped into another world and sees people with cat ears and they're like, yeah, I just want to fluff those ears. 
Ooh. Maybe I'm referring to on the Catwoman's side. An example I could think of is from How to Not Summon a Demon Lord. It's a, it's about a dude gets summoned to another world as this epic demon lord by like this elf whammon and a cat whammon. And uh, in order to punish the cat whammon at some point, uh, because this is the total normal thing to do, he's like, I know, I'll pull your ears as punishment and pull her ear. And she just like gets into this weird uh, sexual moaning and groaning. And shaking around, and he's like, God damn, I, I need to do something else. How about pulling your tail? And it gets even worse. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually quite embarrassed. I, I have seen um, a lot of this, but um, not in the show. So I, I think that the animal ear fetish is... I'm not going to go ahead and say it's completely normal and natural <sighs> on the weeb otaku side. No offense, weeb otakus that are watching this video. Or noble. <laughs> 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 but... Uh, I think it's even weirder on the whammon side. Or, uh, you know in To Love Rue, they have like those demon tail things? And anytime someone touches their demon tail, they just go into full gasm mode? I think what- God damn it! You're gonna look it up and be like, I've seen hentai about this! I've only seen hentai of this, god oh. damn it! You know what, maybe I'm more cultured than I thought. I have seen the Fate series, I have seen To Love Rue, I have seen <laughs> the Summon a Demon. The alternate, slightly better versions. Rem Galeo. Is that the girl from How to Not Summon a Demon Lord? Dude, I would wreck her. Anyway! Those <laughs> the ears, next baby. weird fetish! Oh, and the, the oh. collar. <laughs> yeah, sorry, what's up? Oh, animal ears. Oh. Well, yeah, why Why is that not on the top of your list of things you love? Uh, how do you know? This isn't top 10 Nuxtaku fetishes in anime, okay? You don't know! I don't know! I want to know! I'm just saying, Hisoka would be closer to the top than Animal Ears. So, the next weird fetish that I have, I have to say that this is a very weird one for me. It is, I don't think you've ever seen this one, or I, I don't even think there's hentai of it, it's this, it's this strange. There's this anime called Severing Crime Edge, and they are literally attracted to haircuts. Cutting hair, and they're just like, oh, hair cutting. I have never Bet you've never seen, seen a hentai about that one. I, I know about the, the culture, the hair cutting culture in Japan, but I've never seen this anime. I am absolutely going to watch this because I'm confused. Dojinchi. Well, no! Look it up! Don't look it up as the Dojinchi for- Why? Why wow, must you do this? a naughty this? show. Oh, oh god damn Ooh. it. No, 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 I promise I will watch the anime after. It's about a dude who gets turned on by cutting hair! It's not good! <laughs> Why? You're, you're kind of selling it for me, man. God damn it. I'm curious, because I know about hair cutting culture. I don't know about you, but how do you think it turns him on? What aspect of cutting hair? Scissoring? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, but when I think about fetishes that aren't my own, I like to put my brain aside and think, what in this would I find appealing? What about it is fascinating? This is what it is. This is the whole thing that the hair cutting anime is about. Catharsis. Providing psychological relief through the open expression of strong emotions. So through something that is impossible and it's driving him absolutely bonkers, Having the ability to finally cut her hair will be the most orgasmic, spine-tingling feeling of relief. I get it. Um, <clears throat> I do have more weird fetishes, if you'd like to continue. Absolutely! I just... Yeah, the hair one, I've never even... I didn't know that was a fetish. So that's really... Boom! Cool. Next Taku one! Melody! 16,000 when it comes to fetishes. Alright, so the next one is from an anime, Gonna Be the Twin Tail, and it's a weird fetish towards <laughs> twin tails. We've heard of dual wielding before, but when we think dual wielding, we think of Kirito with two swords. We don't think of twin ponytails. Hey, I love slave handles as much as the next guy, okay? I don't <laughs> think that they're referred to as slave handles. Oh, Have you ever seen not. this anime? Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so, <laughs> just so yes, the dude has a weird fetish for twin tails, but it gets really strange when it's like, the only way to save the planet is to transform into this weird twin tail lolly and like get superpowers and stuff. I don't think that the internet would be the same without us giving credence to the weird fetish of twin tails, or as Melody likes to call them, slave handle. Oh. <laughs> I hope that you made that up and it's not an actual thing. It's a term. No! God damn, why? Why? Why must you do this? Twin tail lovers are everywhere. There's dozens of us. Dozens of us! 
<laughs> There's as many twin tail lovers as there are people that actually watched the Gonna Be the Twin Tail anime, which is a real thing with like 12 episodes. It had like a full run and it made believe it had a plot. <laughs> the final fetish I have on this list is hilarious and it is the Sasuke fetish. I know some people may be like, no, this isn't a real fetish, but I disagree. The Sasuke fetish is so powerful that Ino and Sakura are both fighting over loving this dude. And he's just some like edgy, you know, sad boy. And they're fighting over him for the entire freaking anime. Karin, you know, the psychopath woman that was captured by Orochimaru. She falls in love with Sasuke and she's like, oh, Sasuke, please bite me. Which is weird. <laughs> and now Melody's gonna be like, Oh my god, I love watching people bite each other. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't like Dracula's, but I don't know, it's kind of fun. So there's a little, um, what? Well, anyway, uh, to move on from that point, if you look at the scene where Sakura and Ino and all the other girls in the class are, like, freaking out about Sasuke with, like, heart eyes, in the background, Shikamaru is also in love with Sasuke, and he's straight. There was a whole choking meme, which I am still convinced is the, that the Sasuke choking meme is, in fact, coming from a sexual place. I don't think people are viewing it in any other way. Choking Sasuke. Everyone on the internet wanted to choke Sasuke at, at like a point in time. And I think we all still do. Dude, that's the only thing I know about Sasuke is the choking meme. Is there like a love triangle or something? No, I wouldn't say it's a love triangle. Although uh, Naruto, the main character, does kiss Sasuke on two occasions. And I think that this further solidifies my point that the Sasuke fetish is one of the weirdest fetishes in anime and definitely one that needed to be brought up on this amazing episode. Oh, you want to see my favorite part of Death Note? There you go. Oh my god! What? What even is that? Um, they made out a little bit. Who? Light and L. I don't know, we've seen different Death Notes. Yeah. I wanted to make a video, a nice, peaceful video, weirdest fetishes in anime, and what ended up happening was this video became the weirdest fetishes of Project Melody. What? No, how? What? <laughs> but uh, thank you, Melody, very much for being a part of this video. I, I couldn't think of anyone else that would be so perfect to t explain why all these weird fetishes are not actually weird and totally normal and we're weird for not thinking that they're normal fetishes because that's kind of what happened. Uh, yeah. I mean, okay, when I think about it, when I, when I dial it back, when I go back, killing and taking hands, cutting hair, even the concept of a human being animalized. Okay, fine. It's a little weird. I'll give you that. And I know that its prevalence has made it more acceptable, but yeah, stuff I like's pretty weird. I'm like, but there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, the hands, that's bad. That's bad. Hmm, twin tails, but hair cutting, murdering people. <laughs> that's Most fine, but cutting off hands. Well, I think we've gone too far here. <laughs> <laughs> That's because they don't hurt other people. When it comes uh, to, like, actually committing a crime... Like murdering people? I don't condone You were murder. saying that it's fine as a stress reliever. <laughs> no, okay, no, no, that no, was I, a little out of context. It's, it's, it's understandable <laughs> that that is... Like, I understand. I get it. But also, don't do that. It's illegal and weird. <laughs> yeah, murder, illegal and weird. You heard it here first. I'm I'm sorry I wasn't properly prepared. You wanted fetishes and I went the dark way. <laughs> it's all good, never fear. We will definitely find use for dark fetishes. The next episode is very exciting. It will feature Project Melody, yours truly, Charlie, the Moist Lord, and Living Legend. And Melody will explain the weirdest genres of hentai to us. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be so much fun. I'm a little scared. Uh <laughs> but it'll be great. His and, moist um, meter is gonna be like a zero. Sorry, sorry. It's gonna be serious. You're gonna break the moist meter. I won't break it. I'm sorry. Definitely leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new ish and you want to have a wonderful time in the future. Check out Project Melody. Link to her channel is in the description. Have yourselves a most wonderful evening and remember to stay weird, fam. Stay Kelly. weird, fam.